Good morning and thanks for joining me again today. So my breakfast this morning is a total of 310 calories. I've got two Weetabix in there for 137 calories <clears throat> and I crushed those up and softened them with some water and then I've topped it with an Aldi's vanilla protein yogurt for 143 calories and then there's 17 calories for the raspberries and 13 for the blueberries. And I made this overnight and it's been in the fridge um, overnight so it's all nice and set and the Weetabix is all flavoured and all yummy. So this is my breakfast and I'm off shopping today so I shall see you later. So I've just got back to the car now and I'm going to be driving home but I'm feeling a little bit peckish. It's quarter past one. So I'm going to have this baby bell for 58 calories. I'm in absolute agony with my back. It is killing me. And when I was walking with the trolley, it wasn't so bad because I was like putting the pressure on the trolley. But yeah, walking without the trolley. And then I had to try and put like just small amounts in each bag so I wasn't carrying too much weight. So it hasn't been a very pleasant shopping trip, to be honest. But I had to do it today because this was my free day that I was going to fit it in well until the weekend and we desperately needed some shopping so I couldn't wait till then but anyway yeah I'm going to eat this baby bar now and then drive home and get some I picked this bar. up in Aldi's today and it is 294 calories so that is what I'm having for my lunch because I am quite late um there was me searching for the calories and it's right there look <laughs> oh well um, yeah, so this looks really nice. I think I've had it before. Well, I've had one of these before. Um, with rice and beans. It does look really tasty. So I'm looking forward to that. Nice and colourful. Mind, a lot of them there, all this like sauce had run out of the lid. So I picked the one that looked um, the best one that hadn't leaked. So yeah, that is what I'm going to have for my lunch and I'm going to sit down and enjoy that before I do the shopping. Now I went to various shops today. I went to Asda's, Sainsbury's, Aldi's and Tesco's. So I picked up a couple of things that I don't normally because I usually stick to like Morrison's and Aldi's. So I'll just show you what I got. Now these I got in Sainsbury's because <clears throat> um, Amber and I have been having the turkey rashers and I think the ones we were having were something like 32 calories where well, these are only 24 calories a slice so I thought that was good so I got those and then these are doing they're all over Instagram at the moment in Aldi's burger thins 136 calories per thin so that's those and then I meant to have got the um do you know there's a few things I forgot I think it's because my back was hurting so much I just kind of just got on with getting what I saw and I didn't bother hanging around but they got focaccia thins out um which I really wanted to get but I come without them so I'll get those next time but yeah so they're good 136 calories each um, this is all a bit random, sorry. I've got it's all it's just all mixed up. These I got from B and M. Oh, I went to B and M as well. These are eighty six calories, so I thought that'd be nice for us to have. You know, if we wanted a little sweet treat, then I got this for Amber out of Sainsbury's. They're on offer for two fifty. Uh, I don't know what the normal price is. Was it three? I can't remember. But per pizza is 431 calories, so she'll enjoy that. And that's good for, you know, a whole pizza. And then in Asda's, told you it's going from one shop to another. In Asda's, um, now she does like a naan bread if she has curry. And they've always been high when she's looked at them. So these are only 100 and gee why haven't i got my glasses on hang on 131 calories garlic and coriander which i thought 
was really good for those calories. So those were Asda's. Oh, and I picked up another pack of the Crumpet Thins, which we had for Morrison's last week. These were in Asda's, um, and they're 61 calories. They are nice. And also in Asda's, I saw... No, these were in Tesco's. These chocolate mini party rings. Um, they are 92 calories per bag, so I thought I'd get those. And then in Sainsbury's, again, I keep seeing these all over Instagram. So, um, I got those. Now, these, I've already d dived into these. I've had two, and they're five calories a biscuit. So, this is the size of them. I mean, they are very, very thin, very wafer-like, of course. But for five calories, I thought that was really good. So they were on the expensive side. I think they were something like one seventy-five. I want to say. I probably have got the receipt somewhere. So I had the cheddar flavour. There was another flavour, which I think might have been something like black pepper. But, yeah, so I got those, and I mean, for five calories per biscuit, and I've had two, so I've had ten calories there. These are the few frozen things I got in Aldi's. So, three fish fingers, 162 calories. Then I got some mango chunks. Uh, so, no, 80 grams is 50 calories. Blueberries. 80 grams is 36 calories and then my husband really likes these haven't had them for a while and they are two mini waffles come on focus 128 calories and I got these I thought these sounded really nice They're 188 calories per fillet so uh lemon and parsley lightly dusted and lemon parsley crumbs so yeah i thought they would be quite nice with maybe some potatoes and broccoli and then in asda's i got this frying pan now it's a nice size um because our frying pan is huge for if you want to do like a small omelette or because I think you've seen when Amber's done her videos of how big it is. And if you do a two egg omelet, it just spreads out so thinly. So this one was on offer. I think it was supposed to be £12 down to eight. Um, it feels very odd. But hopefully, I mean, it does say non-stick. Five times stronger than other non-sticks. Lifetime guarantee. So we'll see. And I think that is a good make. Yeah, because my big one is this make, but it hasn't got this, um, you know, it's not that rough feel to the other one. So anyway, yeah, I got that as well. So the fridge is looking quite full now. I'm not videoing all my shopping haul today because my back is so sore. I just needed to get it away. But yeah, all stocked up. So I'm just going to have a coffee now with this hi-fi bar and this is 73 I calories. just want to show you this that Amber has made. Um, what's in there Amber? Um, 30 grams of chocolate protein powder, 5 grams of the exothem gum. Xanthium. Xanthium yeah, gum. Um, and what else is in there? A lot of ice and 240 mils of almond milk. And it comes in this massive bowl at 173 calories. Like it's and it's humongous. Well, actually, there's still a bit more to scrape out of there. But look at that. Like 173 protein. calories, protein ice cream. Yeah. Yeah, look. For tea tonight, I'm having one of the Aldi's infused salmon fillets for 159 calories. 145 grams of broccoli, which is 41 calories. And then I'm having half a pack of this um, Uncle Ben's rice. And that is coming in at 181 calories for half of the packet. So this is what I'm going to be finishing off the evening with. One of these from Protein World. I've not tried this before, so... 
I'm looking forward to trying it. It's 176 calories and it's got 10 grams of protein in. So yeah, I'm really looking forward to trying that. Yeah, so I'm looking forward to trying that protein bar from Protein World. So far, I've been really, really pleased with um, things that I've had from there. So I need to go tomorrow and buy some of the Home Bargains um, protein bars because I really enjoy those. And they're like only 99p, 99 calories, and I think they're 10 grams of protein as well. Um, so I had my little shopping trip today, but it, it wasn't in... It wasn't very enjoyable because i've had this horrendous backache i don't want to speak too soon but it's feeling a tiny bit easier tonight um but earlier i had my dad for tea tonight and um, i was going to cancel him but i thought no I'll, I'll have him and then i went to turn as i was dishing it up i went to turn like the wrong way and oh my god it was a horrendous but yeah, so touch wood, it is feeling a little bit easier tonight. Um, but last night in bed was just awful, so I barely slept with it last night. Um, yeah, so my, well, I was so looking forward to going shopping on my own. I wanted to just do it all on my own today. Um, that was the plan, and yeah, but anyway, never mind. And uh, I went to B&M hoping that I would get some nice protein protein products like bars and everything and it was a real poor show what they had there um i also wanted some of the skinny food co smarties the you know the copies of smarties um but they didn't have those so i'm gonna have to order on skinny food co and i know a few of you said to use louise's um code but it's you have to spend 80 pounds I did message Louise because I put £40 in my basket and the discount wasn't coming off. But she said what you have to do is you actually have to spend £80 to then get the the price that you paid, 40 So I didn't want to spend that much. Um, so yeah, I was going to hope, hopefully wait for a new uh, code to come from elsewhere. But it doesn't look like I'm going to get that. So I shall take the plunge and order something, I think. So um, that's all I need to say, I think. Let me see what I'm ending on today. That um, ice cream that I showed you Amber made, oh my God, for such little ingredients in there, it was so good. I had a spoonful to try and it was really, really nice. And I can't believe the volume there for the calories i mean she couldn't eat it in one sitting she ate some more later on so that was really really good yeah i'm ending on 1475 so i've got 25 remaining um so it's 395 for my breakfast that's including my milk for the day and then i had that lunch that thing from aldi's that was really really nice um and then my tea was 464 as well, including my Kavag yogurt, which I didn't film, did I? No, I didn't film my Kavag yogurt because, yeah, we were just all at the table. My dad was here as well, and, yeah, I just, just ate it. Um, so, I've had the Baby Bell for a snack, my hi fi I had those good guy biscuit things I showed you from Waitrose, um, not Waitrose, my, oh, God. Sainsbury's um for five calories a biscuit and they're not the sort of thing well not for me anyway not the sort of thing that I want to go think oh god I'll have another one oh I've got have another one but if they were sweet then maybe I would but yeah so I had three of those all together so that's 15 calories and then obviously that protein bar that I've just showed you and I'm ending on 118.3 grams of protein so so yeah, that is it. Um, there was something else I was going to say to you, do you know, and I can't remember. It's gone. It's gone. But anyway, <laughs> it'll probably come to me after and I'm like, oh yeah, I, that's what I wanted to say, but never mind. Anyway, 
thank you so much for watching and um, I shall see you again tomorrow hopefully in a bit less pain it's it seems to be when I sit down when I'm like resting it seems to hurt more than when I'm moving which sounds stupid um although sometimes when I move and I move like suddenly or whatever then I kind of pull it it's horrible I've got a heat pad that I need to um get on I think and see if that will help also got a tens machine which I could put that on um yeah I might even do that later and I got some gel for my husband to rub in later so he can do that and I'll just keep taking the I can only take paracetamol I can't take ibuprofen because I had the uh, bleeding stomach ulcer uh, five years ago this is the sixth six year coming up actually because I had that I'm no longer no no longer allowed to take um, anti-inflammatories which is a real bummer especially with like the conditions I've got but the medication I've got for my arthritis and everything as I've told you before I was on methotrexate I'm now on something called I don't pronounce it right but it's leflumide something like that um I think you're not supposed to need the anti-inflammatories but when you've got a flare-up like I've got at the moment I really think I need those anti-inflammatories but I'm not supposed to take them so yeah I mean it cures one thing but then you know causes other problems so anyway enough about my ailments I'm sure you don't want to hear them so I will see you again tomorrow and I hope you've had a lovely day and enjoyed the sunshine because I dried loads of washing today which was really good that was nice um yeah anyway I'm gonna go and I'll see you tomorrow bye